right, uh, video number four. Uh, I've, I've shared in other videos uh, the painting process with the base and the clear after setting up a, a paint booth and uh, before that it was uh, a video on shooting uh, high build primers and block sanding those to get the perfect surface before you add the paint. Well this is the, the final phase after the paint. This is uh, uh, getting your clear coat to a perfect mirror-like shine. Uh, if you look at cars that are new, you'll see that there is an orange peel. They come out of the factory with an orange peel. So that's acceptable. Um, uh, as a hobbyist, uh, I made a few mistakes. Uh, my main problem was I didn't have a water separator that was built into my plumbing network that fed to the gun, so I was shooting water droplets onto my clear in spots, which led to sort, or sort of like a fisheye or an imperfection. I didn't have any dust nips. My problem was I didn't anticipate how much water I'd shoot out of that gun. Uh, the color sanding got rid of those. Uh, so this video is about color sanding to get a, a mirror shine, a mirror surface, or simply to uh, overcome some mistakes you made in the process. This uh, step is actually, it took me 100 hours. I was, I was amazed at how much time it took to simply uh, sand out this, this, this finish and bring it back after compounding and buffing it. So uh, the, the, the two tools I'll use are number one, a, a dedicated sanding wheel, which I bought at my job or the shop that I used, which is designed only for a sanding clear coat. It does not orbit so you don't get a random uh, type of a, a, a sanding signature, it's, it's, it's fixed. And it came with, or I bought uh, ample supply of 800 grit, 1200 grit, and 2000 grit sanding paper that uh, was a peel and stick to the, the disc. Okay, so it was, it, all that I, I spent a little money on, uh, designed only for sanding clear coats. And finally, I also spent money on a, 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 a buffing wheel, which is designed only for buffing post-sanded clear coats on cars. So that was uh, several hundred dollars worth of an investment on my behalf. Um, and the, the, the buffing wheel did come with uh, two different types of pads specifically designed for two different types of liquid applications, a compounding liquid and then a polishing liquid. All right, so these are all specifically purchased for just this operation. Again, this took 100 hours, but I think you'll see it, it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to just get right down to it. Once again, I'm going to share with you uh, the car. See what, see if you like what you, uh, see if my finish came out, and then I'll explain uh, the the process of, of color sanding and uh, compounding and polish. And thank you. I'm glad I could share this with you guys. Okay guys, like I said, if you like what you see, then uh, hang around, because this is what I did. And uh, I like to look at the car, different types of light, direct sunlight, lesser sunlight, especially on those curves right there. Kind of work your way down the body panel. You see if it's as straight as you think it should be. Nice clear coat. Do it with the light on. There it is. See that? Turned out pretty good. The OEM, or the original color, whatever you want to call it, golf yellow. And uh, try and highlight the clear. Hey, look, see where the light is shining? Where I highlight that? It's orange peel. Um, I did pretty good. You got some crud right there. It's not horrible, but you don't want that in your 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 clear coat. This car's got three layers of clear on it, so 
So the job is to smooth it out. And that's sort of a process. I don't want to take too much of my clear out. And what I'm using here is 800 grit sandpaper. Can't really read that because my lighting stinks right now. And I have to kind of look at the finish at an angle. I just want to cut that, I want to cut down the orange peel, but I do not want to cut through the clear into the base, otherwise I've blown it. I can use this guy on the flat surfaces, but when it comes to these curves, I'm going to have to use a sanding block with uh, sandpaper instead. where I sand in my area. I see it's all dull. That's fine. It's not going to hurt a thing. It's hard to kind of see it, but the center of that sanding area, there's no more, you know, you can see it right there. Boom. So I'll show you. The orange peel, still got some orange peel right there. Right that area right there. That's what I want. So I'm not going to sand any more on that area with my pneumatic sander. Okay, I'll follow up on that spot with 1200 and then 2000 grit sandpaper. So I'm going to take off doing this. These little marriers here, it's like curve on the body panel. I'm not going to use a uh, pneumatic sander because the edge of that sander catches this uh, lip on this fender. It'll cut. The edge will cut through. I've done it. Talk about a real buzzkill. So it's just as a matter of just block sanding. Wipe it down. This is a wet block sand, wet sandpaper. And I can kind of look at an angle. I have my light coming over here. I can sort of see, okay, I still have a little orange peel. Interestingly, I can see it on different curves. So you have to, you have to work it. Be very careful. Don't over sand in one area. So I'll do this whole fender with 800 and work my way up to 1200. Being very careful not to cut through the clear, you know. When you do the 1200 and 2000, you're smoothing out those scratches, and then there's the next stage, which is the buffing, or the compounding and the polish. And I'll show you that as well. I'll even take just a... <clears throat> I'll even take just a loose piece of paper, you know, work it with that too. Like on this uh, fender lip here. So you apply a variety of ways to get your your clear sanded down. Okay, well here is here is the right front fender after it's been color sanded. You can see I've taken all the luster or the shine out of it uh, compared to that door panel which hadn't been done yet. Um, but I've also cut out all of the imperfections in orange peel. Now I'll go ahead and sand it with 2000 and then polish it. There you have it. Okay, my friends. Now comes, now comes the buffing, or the, I'm sorry, compounding, using rubbing compound. It's not the kind you, you buy at the store like whatever uh, DuPont. It's stuff right here it's, uh, it's it's specifically intended for uh, uh, buffing clear that you've just sanded and you have to use a, a compounding wheel I'll demonstrate that the compounding pad this pad is specifically designed 
just for the, pol uh, the compound, compound, not polish, compound. The wheel, the electric wheel you use, generates heat and it causes a chemical reaction with this 3M pol uh, rubbing compound and causes a chemical reaction to give you a high gloss. You can't do it by hand, it just won't work. And the other pad following that is this pad, which is a polishing pad. This polishing compound too, so I'll demonstrate that for you now. Folks, this is this is polished. It's been it's been compounded and polished. It's hard to really see with the camera lens. There are no there's no orange peel. There's no imperfections. There's nothing. And I'll see if I'll walk it down the line with the door panel. There's your door panel. You can start seeing orange peel in that. See that orange peel right there? See it, there you go, some beautiful orange peel. That'll all come out when you sand it. 800 to 1200 to 2000, and then with a mechanical wheel compounding and buffing. Just make sure you got enough clear coat so you don't cut through your clear. All right, huh? Isn't that cool? Whole car will be like this. I'm going panel by panel. It is a lot of work. I'll probably put 40 hours in on this car. This is a small car. Once again, guys, you can see what color sanding does. See, you've got a beautiful clear surface, and this surface is is above. It's really good. I mean, this is almost uh, the way uh, it would come out of the factory with the minimal orange peel. But we're going for restoration not show uh, trying to get as close to show quality when you sand it down look at that see you just you're just dulling it out and at first you're thinking why in the hell am I doing this but as you've seen you get a beautiful shine like this side right here so there you have it
Okay, I'm up to uh, using uh, 1200. I was at 800, 1200. The reason, the reason we do that is to get rid of the sanding scratches from the, uh, the 800. Of course, on these edges again, I've got to use uh, the 2000 sandpaper block sand, wet sand, because I just don't want to cut these edges with the rotating sander. It's just to slip up and uh, accidentally cut across or cut into your, your clear. I've done it. I've done it on another practice car. And I'm worried about this one when I buff it because you really need the mechanical buffing to really get the shine out. In some areas you just can't reach it, so you have to. I don't have the pros to go for it. I've done some hand buffing and compounding with the cloth, but it just doesn't get the results of the wheel. Okay, now I'm up to 2,000 grit to get the even finer surface with even less grit. sander right here has got this flex pad between the actual sander and the um, and the sandpaper so it doesn't give you a hard edge where you grind edges and cut out your clear.
Okay, now finally, polish. See the surface is coming out. I'm discovering that it's best to do one section at a time. Don't try and do too much too fast. Yeah. Okay, here's the final product. Not bad.